Hello everybody, Crips here, and once again, thanks for joining me. Okay, so you're at your office, minding your own business, and suddenly the boss uh, walks into your office and says, I need a slideshow presentation ASAP, and if not, you're fired. So what do you do? Well, you walk out, I guess, because clearly that guy's an arsehole. <laughs> no, uh, I can help you out with this. So there's uh, two ways we can make a slideshow very quickly. Then the first method I'll show you is by using the templates. Now I'm using version 5, so my template icon is up here. Uh, very simple, choose the template you wish uh, to use. I'm going to use a complete template, so very simple. Click and then drag it into your timeline and release, and it will automatically add the whole template into your timeline. So whether it's got five tracks or six tracks, it does everything automatically for you. And now go back into your folder where your photos are, and this is the easy part. Select the photo you want to use. Uh, click and drag and then when you hit the template press down or hold down your control key and release your mouse and there you go you've instantly changed the photo let's do it again click drag control down and release one more time click drag press down your control key and release so there you go you can see how quickly I'm able to change my template is there a, an easier way? Well, of course there is. Let's go back to File, New Project, no. So um, let's say I just want to have all these photos in my timeline and with a, f with a transition between each uh, photo. I don't want anything fancy, I just want something qu uh, quite simple. So how do I do this? Now before I drag all these photos into my timeline, I'm going to change my preferences. So go to Settings, Preferences, and go into Edit. And at the bottom you'll see Transition and Effect, right? So if you check automatically add transmission, it does exactly what it says. It will automatically add a transition in between each photo. Duh. Now if you open up this drop down menu, in this case drop up menu, you can then choose your desired filter or your transition effects. So I'm going to use roll wrap, which I believe is very, very corny, so that's what I'm all about. And then you can also change the duration for each transition. So I'm going to leave it at the default one and press OK. Now to drag all these photos into my timeline, I can do that individually, which is uh, pointless. Or what you do is you hold down, uh, highlight your first photo, hold down your shift key, highlight the last photo, and then just drag everything into your video track, and voila. As you can see now, all the photos are there with the cheesy transition effect. Oh God, it is cheesy, isn't it? So there you go. And once you're done, you can go back to your boss and shove it up. And as always, thanks for joining.